With Homer Jacobs, I'm Gabe Bach. We're lucky to welcome inside the studio Buddy Kimberlin from 12th Man Productions. Buddy, what's going on, man? What's going on, guys? Thanks for having me. Appreciate you Did doing you get this. lost coming down here? No, no. Okay. I knew it was in downtown Bryan, okay. but I didn't know the exact building. Okay. I found man, it. Man, the, the percentage of people who get lost their first time <laughs> trying to make it to the Texags compound, thank God we're moving. Hopefully sooner than later, That's but right. I have my Everybody's going to know where it is now. <laughs> yeah, you can see the signs That's up. right. Well, the sign's up. We're just yeah. waiting for uh, mo- moving forward with construction. So that, that, that'll be exciting. But the percentage is at least 50, 60%. They're calling us. We're on the air. Yeah. Okay, here's how you go. And call the producer. We're talking sports here. Well, I appreciate you coming in. Welcome yeah. to the compound. And how long have you been with 12th Man Productions, buddy? I started as a student in 2004. Okay. And so uh, I worked there until, and I started full-time in 2006. Wow. And we were talking off air, buddy. You, you, you were started with men's basketball. Is that right? Right. My first year, uh, I started as a student worker. They had like eight student workers back then. And uh, What do you got now, 40? Yeah, we got like 40 yeah. now. But we didn't have all the big screens that we have now right. back then and so i love college basketball crew i played basketball my whole life loved it so uh i said hey i want to travel basketball it'd be great and they're like well we're 0 and 16 i don't know if you know and i was the fan that was at every game <laughs> oh i, I saw you there 16, i was right? too yeah. Yeah, Homer right. was the one media yeah so they said hey uh you know you can travel with those guys if you want and my first year was gillespie's first year and it ended up getting me you a full-time job because we were so good, yeah. We will get into that because I think we'll have time to do that. But right now, we're here to talk about 2012, the season, the forthcoming DVD. And I want to tell fans how they can win it before they can buy it. You got an opportunity right now. The gang at Aguilan Outfitters, uh, now that they're not in yet, they'll be in March 8th. Yeah. yeah, okay, March 8th, they'll be in on DVD and Blu-ray. But you get an opportunity to win it, and then once they come in, you'll get it for free. And here's how you opt in for a chance to win this. We're we're going to give away a few of these at about noon today. So you have to text Texags Radio, T E X A G S Radio, all together, no space. Texags Radio to 99,000 to opt in. And at about noon, now three or four of you guys will get a text back saying you're the winner and in, in you know, information, instructions on how you pick up this DVD in a week or so at Mar- Mar- March 8th or later, whenever it comes in. So, Texags Radio to 99,000, thanks to Aguilan Outfitters, the exclusive apparel provider of Texags Radio here on Sports Radio 1115. 2012, the season, and what a, first off, just what a heck of a year it was, particularly on your end of things. Being on the inside had to be just something you'll, you'll never forget. Unbelievable. Uh, just the different places, you know, going to all the new, because I had kind of been to the Big 12 run maybe not at a football game in every one of them but i'd been to all the cities and to go to all new places and see i mean those stadiums were awesome i mean literally yeah. teams auburn not a good not have a good year but oh, what a crowd i mean it was, it was an awesome atmosphere yeah, it would it, have been unbelievable anyway, but what A&M was able to do, and for you being on the inside, just kind of give us an inside look. What was it like being behind the wall, so to speak? Because the fans, for the first time, they're going to get a chance to do that. They're going to get a chance to be on the inside because of this DVD. I think that uh, you know, just going through the season, you start off – uh, I mean, you, you know, I'm just I'm a fan that works there too. I mean, that yeah. just hap- happens to be what my job is as well. That's and what we all are, yeah. exactly. So you you start off and you're like you're hopeful, but you're not positive. And I think you know things start rolling. I think that that Ole Miss game was the, oh, a huge turning point. Yeah. And then you win that game, you see the excitement. You can see the players, you know, kind of thinking, hey, you know, we we can make a run here. We, this is a good team. And I think once everybody started believing it, you really get a chance to. Uh, see some of that stuff in the DVD because, you know, some of those locker room shots and and just kind of a behind-the-scenes look at at what's going on throughout the year. And that really kind of explains it. I mean, the the video's 64 minutes long. I mean, it's it's in-depth of the year. You know, I I did a column on it in in our next 12-man magazine, and I I met with Buddy and Andy Richardson over at 12-man Productions. And it was fascinating. I got to preview the video and, and talk to them about it. And Buddy... The, the behind the scenes with, with Johnny up in, in New York was the most fascinating to me. And, and really, the, you told me the Heisman Trust had never really allowed all access guy following their, uh, the Heisman winner, and, and they did with you. And so what was that like? I mean, you, uh, some of those scenes with Johnny are, are just mesmerizing. And I mean, you're in the middle of it. Are you just, you know, caught up or are you just working? You know, what is- right. It, it was almost, I mean, it's unbelievable because the, the things that you saw, but I was so afraid to miss anything you know that I was kind of in the in the moment of hey I got to shoot this I mean this is once a lot of time got to get this shot got to get this I was kind of getting that work mode but when you sit back I think the time that the, the one moment is and you'll see it in the DVD is uh, Johnny gets out of the of the car to go to Letterman and I mean there's just 
a hundred paparazzis and the flashes are going so fast that it, you can, my camera starts freaking out because it's just yeah. light flashing. And it was almost wow. just like, I just kind of was like, man, I'm with a, it's Johnny a major is now become superstar. a superstar in the world, not just as a sports figure, but in, I mean, as pop figure in the country. It looked like the Oscars, man. Yeah. I mean, when I, when he's right. There's probably 50 photographers least, there. Yeah. And it was 50 on the other side that you oh, can't really? see. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So there, it was, it was something else to follow him around. And it was truly a, uh, once in a lifetime for sure. We're here with Buddy Kimberlin of 12th Man Productions talking about 2012, the season, uh, forthcoming DVD coming out March 8th uh, for purchase at AggielandOutfitters.com. Aggieland Outfit, uh, and at one of three locations in town. Is that the spot to buy this DVD? Only spot. Yeah. They're the only place that uh, is going to sell it. So you'll be able to get it on the web or within their stores. I want to ask you about Johnny. How, how impressed were you with him? Well, there's a lot of things that probably even weren't filmed. A lot of things were certainly, but just how he handled himself through this process certainly was new to him. Unbelievable. He uh, just the the things that you go through in that week. I don't think people understand because yeah, you know, you see the interviews and you see, but and even for Johnny, that's even kind of new because he wasn't doing the interviews yeah. all year. So he, not only does he yeah. do those, and a lot of the, and when I was talking to Homer, I was my thought is that. A lot of those guys that won the Heisman, they're three years into their superstar in the making, and they kind of get that chance, and they get their their bid on big interviews, and they have big on big time TV, mm-hmm. and it was all just kind of thrown at Johnny in like a two week span. And the way, he, I mean, he knocked it out like a like a fifth year senior. It you was know, unbelievable. He goes to Letterman, and th- this is chaos in the rehearsal, and it's ten. You said five or ten minutes before they let the audience right. in, they give him one shot to roll through the the top ten list, and he stammers a little bit in, in that rehearsal. Right, and then it goes live, and he nails it like Johnny Football it's nails. Unbelievable. It. Yeah. Did that surprise you at all? No, no. I knew he'd kill it. He was. I did think he was going to be. A, he was a little nervous for the Letterman thing, I think, because it, it's you know it's a stick. He's yeah. not just answering questions, so it's a little tougher. But and the thing is, they get, they they run through the ten questions, then we race back out because the people are coming in like two minutes later. We go into the dressing room, and he's sitting there, and then they come in and they change like three or four of them oh, okay. because the writers are you know last second changes. Yeah. So then they come through and change them. So now it's like all right, we need to. You just run, read through these once or twice, and then boom, you're out there live to tape with David Letterman. What, wow. I, what I noticed, too, is the security that, that had to be around Johnny. And at first, you know, before he won the Heisman, there was like three cops around him as he went from hotel to the presentation. And, right. Um, they whisked him through the back kitchen, you know, like, like the president of the United States or something. But once he won it, it amped up, man. There was like eight s- Secret Service guys, New York City cops. Did you almost get yeah. uppercutted by a couple of those <laughs> Brutus guys? It, it was close. I, I tried to make my friendships before just yeah. in case because I knew what would happen afterwards. And we actually, in the in the documentary, the 18-minute, uh, they call him Johnny Football, we actually have the shot of Johnny coming out right when he won it, like maybe seven minutes after he wins the thing. And we do the full walk down between uh, the theater and the hotel mm-hmm. where the Best Buy Theater and right the Marriott Marquis. Mm-hmm. Just to see the amount of people in those streets and how many uh, cops and, and bodyguards he has, it's it's a crazy shot. It really is. It, it kind of wow. brings it to just show you how big of a deal it is. And then the next day, there's this guy, little guy in front of him carrying this big metal box and it's like you know the controls to a nuclear bomb or something and it's the heisman trophy and he takes it everywhere because they go to all these media events and meet and greets and, and here's the little guy with the with the box yeah right. but that little guy will knife you don't think he's <laughs> not right. a jack bauer type yeah you don't mess with a guy who holds the heisman That's box. Right. you guys put out a whole lot of stuff on aggieathletics.com throughout the process so a lot of people that might be curious whether they're going to buy this DVD might say, well, I've already seen a ton of it. I've probably seen all of it just in bits and pieces. How, how wrong would they be? Very. Wrong. We, we put uh, – there is some stuff from Orlando that we put up on the web before. There's some of those pieces kind of re-edited and reshaped. But once uh, you get to New York, we kind of stop because – we, we put up some pictures and stuff, but right. we kind of waited because we were like, well, this could be a truly, we could make a full TV show out of mm-hmm. how cool this stuff is. And so we really kind of held a lot of that stuff back for this reason, just because if you can sit back and put it all together, it makes it so much better than if it's one minute every day, you know? And so I'm, I'm really glad we did because we got a full 20 minute and it doesn't get boring. I mean, everybody, no. I, I thought originally because I'd seen it so much that maybe it did. And everybody I show it to, they just love every and, second. And of let's it. not forget, guys. I mean, you know, we've all watched the Alabama game 20 times, or at least I have. 
but all the other games are on this deal, and and you go through and you forget, you know, great play against South Carolina State that I, I forgot about, and, and they have it all. So it's just a it's an incredible compilation. Narrated or unnarrated? Uh, the the 2012 the season is narrated in full and written by Will mm-hmm. Johnson. Uh, he wrote the whole thing. It's a 64 minute game by game, and what you can do is as you put the DVD in, you can flip to if you hit the next button, it just goes to the next game, and there's a slate that says next game, next game, next. Oh, game. that's cool. So you can go right through the whole season like that and then the uh the documentary is not narrated at all it's all music but it also has a lot of johnny sound bites you know almost i'm walking with him and he's like all right we're about to go do this and this he kind of hosts it he kind of hosts it and then we actually have a special director's director's cut that's uh with it so it's the same exact 18 minute documentary but the the audio's turned down and it's just me and johnny after we get back we're in the editing room and we just talk back and forth about Looking while watching the video about what the things that you know happened. they show wow. the celebrations across Texas when he won it at the Association of Former Students building when the crowd goes nuts and to hear Johnny I mean he was very humbled by that you that, know that, yeah. the, that's one of the things that really jumped out when we were on that trip is that night we were showing Johnny that on our phones at the night he had oh, won the Heisman really? and he was so fired up I mean I think he, God, that's, that's the just, kind of stuff that you know he kind of stepped back like man that's look at the people really that are rooting him. for me yeah. right it really was he was he was really fired up about the the fan support everywhere mm-hmm. else had to be an eye-opening moment for, for him sure. for sure all right let's take a time out we're here with buddy kimberlin 12th man productions talking about 2012 the season and much more we roll along after this texags radio 1050 welcome back inside the sully's grill studios on a wednesday with homer jacobs at the 12th man magazine i'm gabe bach and we're here inside the studios with buddy kimberlin 12th man productions talking about 2012 the season and got a reminder from our man clay taylor who worked with you for what five five six years a long time a long time Probably. One of your good buddies who's now with us. We swiped him. That's right. Which is a good thing for us and a terrible, terrible thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But a reminder that you were the chief director when it came to well, on Burning Desire. And so Aggie fans all over have seen the Burning Desire about right. the 99 Bonfire game. And what a fantastic production that was, documentary. And it's clear that by judging by that this is going to be on that level i want to ask you which was more special for you when all was said and done i mean you've done two Ooh, great documentaries question. which one Ooh. some cinem- i mean they're both sentimental in totally different ways right buddy. completely different ways uh the bonfire documentary is probably more fun to do because it was a lot more work as far as you know we interviewed probably 40 people around yeah. the state and it was kind of a planned you know months and months then the football thing we do we kind of do that every year but we just had the season mm-hmm. to where we could put it all together so i think bonfire was probably more special to me because that was like the first time we ever just made a true documentary yeah um but my thing i do like about this one is the johnny thing is a little more personal to me because i was there yeah, for it right and it's our first time to ever make a blu-ray so Ooh. that's a little i mean the quality is a lot better on this and than they use the, the, than the, the, the it's all hd because they can use the cbs feed you know it's not just them holding, holding, right we all have hd cameras now but right usually the highlights would be from you guys field level well, you could get all the CBS stuff and, and ESPN, right? From my, as a video uh, nerd, my favorite thing about the move to the SEC is the deal that e- the SEC has with ESPN and CBS as to where we can actually get the clean feeds. We don't have to have the graphics and all that stuff. So we just have clean shots of the game, and they have how many camera angles yeah. during a game. That so we get every shot when Kennedy, you know, has a touchdown pass against Alabama where he right. body slams his buddies in the end zone. You know, that was just instead awesome. of us having yeah. our two angles, we have like 15 angles, and that's obviously a lot better when you're making highlight videos. Absolutely. And personally, uh, you know, I just wanted to say, and then you can comment on Johnny, uh, Johnny, buddy, um, about Johnny. He doesn't but, mind. Yeah, that's all we talk about is Johnny. But um, is two points, two parts of that uh, documentary with uh, with Johnny football was that. There was one moment, and it was just a few minutes before he was going to the presentation, and they're, they're in the hotel suite, and he gets off to the side, and, and he gets a great shot of him, and he's by himself, and he's just looking out the window at New York City, and he's very, it's a very introspective shot, and I want you to comment on that, and the other one was after he won it, he went back to the suite, and he sees his high school coaching staff from Kerrville, some guys mm. and coaches, and he, and he broke down for the first time, I think, really. Right. And so wow. I want to get, I'm getting goosebumps right now, think about it. I am, it, but, too. Um, just your comments on the 
those two parts that I thought were so poignant. Yeah, that uh, right before that was right before they walked down to the media. You know, and the the suite is where they keep all all three of the Heisman finalists are together and their families, and that's where everybody kind of meets and then walks down together. So they were with each other throughout the whole week there, and that was just they had to sign some their usual sign some football, sign some posters before and right before they walked down to the media. Well, literally, that's just your final walk. You go media, you go to the theater, and it's starting. And so he's just kind of got the little moment by himself. And I was just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm paparazzi, but I'm trying not to be because I'm, you know, I'm on, you know, I'm shooting stuff for him and for his family. And, and so I'm just kind of not getting away and I kind of get on the side and just kind of creep around a plant and you can just kind of see. It was his him final single moment right. yeah, before he went down. Wow. Yeah, right. It was. Have some compilated, uh, whether it's chats, texts, tweets, all inside the Conley Garrett Moving and Storage inbox here. They're saying, really cool to relive this on the inside. They're saying, yes, I want to buy this on Blu-ray. There's an opportunity at AggielandOutfitters.com or uh, starting, what is that, Mon- what is the 8th? Uh, next, next Friday. Friday. Next yeah. Friday. So next Friday, you can go one of three locations in town at Aggieland Outfitters. You're taking pre-orders right now. Right. Yeah. yeah on the internet. And you can actually win one of the pre-orders and win it before you can buy it uh, today. We're going to give away a few of these at, at noon, and you got to send a text, text Ags Radio all together, no spaces, T-E-X-A-G-S Radio to 99,000 and opt in through Aggieland Outfitters. And they're going to give away a few of these today, and then starting March 8th, you can pick that up. Give me maybe two or three plays this season that stood out to you, buddy. Uh, number There's one, one of them right there. We're watching on the screen. <laughs> My number one, uh, third and 19 from the one at Ole yeah. Miss. Mike Evans takes the ball away. That's my one as well. That's yeah. uh, so, I mean, and then that whole drive because then the I think we scored in three plays on that one play. Yeah, absolutely. All of a sudden, we could be looking at seven and five, eight and four if Mike Evans doesn't make that play. Yeah. Absolutely. That was that's and it was the, a great throw and it was a great catch and it was great defense and it just you know everything. It was just an amazing play. Yep. Definitely. You got another one. Uh, I'm gonna go a little weird. I'm not gonna get mushy. Uh, how about this, Mississippi State? Johnny scored a touchdown. They called a fumble. That should have been yeah. an extra touchdown f- on top of numbers right. that Johnny oh, right. had. And so, uh, and there's a couple more. Um, uh, I can't think of the other one that I was trying to think of. Uh, but that was one of mine. Is if you're adding to Johnny's statistics and the amount of time he had, that, they, they called a fumble and a touchback, or what? What, what happened? Yes. Yeah, and he yeah. was. He was either he was down at the one at the one foot line, or he scored. There was no exactly. possible way it was a fumble because his knee was on the ground. Right, they kept that as a fumble after reviewing it. You know, and touchdown. Well, I guess as we close it out, you mentioned earlier, right at the beginning, that you spent many years with Billy Gillespie and Mark Turgeon. I guess every year of Gillespie and every year of Turgeon as the chief videographer of basketball. Right. Now, that was certainly the glory days of basketball. When Aggie fans relive the shot on video, that's you shooting it. That's me. That was my camera. Yeah. That was before we had the big screen uh, at – uh, read arena so we had that fake big screen yep. yeah so we only have shots the of, small screen right yeah. the small screen it wasn't even a screen it was, it was a like a graphic yeah box thing <laughs> i don't even know what it was but and that then was you my saw shot. the uh, ac's shot against kansas too right you right were on that that's me ace the one where ac's holding the jersey and mm-hmm. doing this celebration actually, inside the I locker room Allen field house shots but i mean seriously I that's lucky. amazing yeah I get lucky it's a heck of a time absolutely all right uh, 2012 the season will there be 2013 the season i hope so that'd be National Championship. That'll be a long DVD. Buddy, we can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming in, man. Good stuff. Thanks for, thanks for inviting me, guys. Making the sojourn into downtown Bryan for us. I love it. I'm from Bryan anyway, so it was a short drive for me. Good stuff. Homer, good hour, man. Thank you so much.